Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Lowry with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, and today we're out here fishing for flatfish. In this short video, I'll show you a few methods that you can use that are cheap, pretty efficient, and fun for the whole family, and allow you to catch a variety of different bottom fish species. In this case, we're targeting sole, flounder, sand dabs, and other flatfishes, but you'll also encounter sculpin, maybe some dogfish. You never know what you might find when you put a hook on the bottom. When fishing for flatfish, there's a variety of different ways to rig your rod. And as you can see, all you need is a light spinning rod or any other light tackle that you can use. A bass rod or anything like that works just fine. On this rod, we've got a small banana weight, two ounces. And then we've just got a one-aught hook and a piece of smelt. To deploy this, all you do is sink the weight to the bottom. And once you feel it impact the bottom, you give it a little tug, set the bail, there we go, and now it's bumping along the bottom. In addition to live bait or uh, you know smelly fish cut bait or squid, you can also use a variety of synthetic baits like rubber worms or hoochie rigs. There are a variety of different things you can use that will attract flatfish. Their diets include worms, small fish, small crustaceans, and a variety of other things. So essentially, if you bounce anything off the bottom that smells or looks like a living organism, some flatfish or another will try and bite it. Flatfish are a diverse group, and as such, they occur on a diversity of bottom types. You'll find them over mud, sand, sometimes up into cobble or even rock in the case of rock sole. They can also be found at various depths throughout Puget Sound. For fishing in Puget Sound, though, when targeting bottom fish, you can't fish deeper than 120 feet in order to preserve rockfish and prevent barotrauma, which is damage to the fish when they're brought up from the depth where there's high pressure on them. If you do happen to catch a rockfish while fishing for bottom fish of any kind, including flatfish, you should use a descending device to put it back to the depth of capture. As you can see, this is a right-eyed fish. The gills are here, so this is the ventral surface or the bottom of the fish, and this is the gill slit coming up along its side. So this is the top, and one of those eyes has migrated over from the blind side over here to the eyed side of the fish. This is what makes this a flatfish. This is right-eyed. We also have some left-eyed species in Puget Sound, including Pacific sand dab and speckled sand dab, and occasionally you'll find a starry flounder or a halibut that are also left-eyed. This is one of the more prevalent flatfish species that you'll find if you're fishing in shallow waters typically. This is a Pacific sand dab, a left-eyed fish, and if you decide to keep a fish like this, there's actually four fillets you can take off the animal. There's one up here, one back here, flip it over to the blind side, and there's also two fillets that you can take. So don't forget to take the blind side fillets if you're going to eat this. Um, otherwise, it's just a waste of good meat. And when you take that meat, you can pan fry it, you can batter it and deep fry it. Uh, either way, it's tasty flesh. So hopefully this short video has shown you that with some relatively inexpensive equipment, just a little bit of time, and some fairly simple techniques, you can get out on Washington's marine waters and catch flatfish. They're fun to catch, they're delicious to eat, and they're entertaining for the whole family. Now, take some time, get out there, and enjoy Washington's waters.